The next step after these dudes is Jesus. <laughs> don't get no further than this. Yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to introduce Mr. Jerry Mulligan. <laughs> We're going to feature Jerry Mulligan now and, and grooving high. A one, a two, a you know what to do.
and gentlemen, Mr. Max Roach. I'm going to play a piece that was introduced to me by one of the great multi-percussionists of all time. His name is Jonathan David Samuel Jones. Jonathan David Samuel Jones, that great drummer that was with the Count Basie band when they first roared on the scene in the 30s on up until today. He's affectionately known as Papa Joe Jones. And he was a master of this instrument you see here, which we call the hi-hat or foot cymbal. And I'm going to attempt to give you some idea of some of the wonderful things that he brought to us through his great imagination. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan David Samuel Jones.
And now it's my pleasure to bring back to the stage my most illustrious cohorts, one of the original thinkers of this music that is America's gift. It's Jerry Mulligan on baritone saxophone. Jerry Mulligan, when I first met him, he was with Bird in the Apollo Bar uh, on 127th Street, 7th Avenue. He's in the Apollo, isn't he? Living with Bird uptown. In one way, I suppose if it hadn't been for Charlie Parker's uh, kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, he, he, he made me play. You know, I went, went to a session one time right after I met him, and I was writing for a, a band in Philadelphia. And uh, he told me to come to the session and bring my horn. I said, I'd be embarrassed to death to bring my horn to, to, to a session with the likes of him and, and Don Bias and Dizzy Gillespie. I'd be crazy. He said, no, no, well, bring it anyway. So I did. And I managed to hide the horn out of the way and uh, listen for most of the evening. And then it was getting late, so I said, well, Charlie, thanks a lot, and I'm leaving now. I just wanted to say goodbye. I said, no, you're not. Wait a minute. So he went to where my horn was and took it and got it, and took it up on the stand and got it out and put it. He said, here, play. So imagine a 17-year-old kid getting on a bandstand with Charlie Parker and Don Bias. Well, it's, it's the kind of guts that you can only have when you're 17, I think. Well, I played. I had to. But because of his encouragement, he, he told me to, uh, that he liked the way I sounded and that I should play more. So I did. These are 16th notes. You say make 16, every time you say one, it's one, two, three, four. So Charlie Parker would, sometimes he would accent, you would say, back to boom, to back to boom, to back to boom, to back to boom, to back. You would say that. He would say, to back to boom, back to back to boom, back. But you're doing that, 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 that. You're doing the same. You actually, you're doing the same uh, rhythm, but his accents were so far out. Everybody had to fall in, 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 into that because that was the voice of the music. Charlie Parker. <laughs> 